Okay, so this is technically part one of our uh, sculpting and texturing inside of ZBrush of the dinosaur that we created uh, a few uh, videos ago. So I'm probably going to show you how to export from Maya, import the model to ZBrush and probably a really quick overview of the ZBrush interface and uh, probably going to get started sculpting the actual dinosaur. So first things first, we need to export the dinosaur from Maya. So the way of doing that is you can either select the object and uh, if you go to file you can choose ex export selection or export all. And in this case I actually only have the dinosaur so I can probably choose export all but I'm actually going to just select the, the dinosaur just in case and I'm going to choose export selection and so we get a, a window here where we can save it and make sure that you choose that you're going to export this as an OBJ export now if you if you don't get the option because sometimes it doesn't appear for some reason you can go to window settings preferences plugin manager now here you have to look for the obj exporter so let's scroll down and it's right here it says obj export in this case it says loaded and auto load if you don't see it when you try to export make sure you come here to the plugin manager and make sure to check load loaded and auto load so let's go ahead and export this file export selection and just give it a name so that's pretty much it uh, so let's go ahead and open ZBrush and I'm going to show you how to import the, the model okay so now that uh, you opened up ZBrush we can actually start to we can actually import the model that we just exported from Maya so uh, how we do that is if we come here to the tool pretty much and you see the option here that says import one thing to re to know is that if you hold down control you kind of get a if you hold down control over and you're over uh, one of the tools you get uh, like a little description here on the side it says import tool and you can get a uh, extra description in case you don't know what something does every time you press control when you're over something you get a, a description and if you press control and alt you get like an altern alternate uh, description there okay so what we want to do is obviously import our uh, dinosaur so of course uh, as, as I said here's the tool or you can also get it from here import so let's go ahead and uh, click here and just look for the model so once you imported the the mod the, the actual mesh, you're going to notice that of course you get all these extra options here, and your model is actually going to appear here as as a tool. That's what we call here in ZBrush uh, a ZBrush tool. But obviously, uh, first thing you noticed is that you're not going to get anything here. So we we have to get a model here in order to work with it, of course. I actually have an introductory video on how to start uh, ZBrush and the navigation and stuff like that uh, but I'm, I'm just going to go over that uh, really quickly here so first I'm going to disable the light box uh, to uh, maximize my screen space here and now to actually get the model here we have to uh, right mouse click I mean left mouse click and drag and it doesn't matter uh, exactly where it is in the screen okay and I'm going to hold down shift if I wanted to kind of snap to the closest view that I have here in this case the, the front view now let go so now your model is here and uh, make sure you don't uh, left mouse and drag again because you're going to keep getting more uh, of the same model uh, and at this point technically this is a 2D image and not a, a 3D uh, a model that we, we can actually work with so let me undo that and uh, let me do it one more time 
and just get it back here again again left mouse click and drag to get it here once you have it there make sure you press press here where it says edit object uh, or press T is the wiki for it and now we can actually start to work with our model uh, navigation wise uh, right mouse click is to rotate alt right mouse click is to move around your view like this and control right mouse click is to zoom in and out okay uh, the first thing that I always like to do before I do anything else is first of all I'm going to enable perspective view and you can actually see the difference here between perspective this is orthographic view and here's our perspective view another thing that I like to do is uh, I like to work with the rotation based on the y-axis because it feels more like Maya to me rather than getting a really weird angles when you have it set to X Y and Z okay so now that we can actually start working with it there's also another few other few things that I like to do before I go ahead and get started first thing that I like to do is get everything into a, what is called a poly group so if you scroll down here uh, you can see the option here it says poly group just click once on it to get uh, the drop down so we have a different options here and of course as I said before you can hold down control and you can see uh, what all these do now in this case what I'm going to actually do is I'm probably going to set it to auto groups or maybe even with UV mm, let me let me choose here so if we do auto groups probably going to get about uh, four different groups so you s so there are clicked auto groups and you probably noticed that actually nothing that seems to have happened but if we actually enable our wireframe here it's under the rotate here I probably is a little cut out here from the from the video but uh, you see that it says draw polyframe if you click on that or shift F is the quickie for it you uh, actually see that if we zoom in here that the eye and the body and all the all these teeth are also different colors which means they're different groups now this is still one whole object as we had it in Maya but we can actually there's different things that you can do with poly groups in this case I'm actually going to undo and you see that everything goes back to being one whole thing and if we check uh, auto groups with UV you see that we get slightly different uh, options different groups I should say based on where we had our cuts in the UVs and actually yeah, I'm probably going to leave it that way but before we continue what I want to do is first of all I'm going to now this kind of look like it's uh, the same color as the body but it's technically a separate uh, group so first thing I'm going to do is we're going to combine the two eyes so that we can work uh, symmetrically as you, as you may remember uh, the way we did the UVs back in Maya we had overlapping UVs meaning that whatever we do to one side is going to be mirrored to the other side so that so that our model is actually going to be symmetrical so we want to make sure that whatever we do to do this side is going to be exactly the same the other way so in order to isolate select one of the uh, poly groups what we do is hold down control shift and you can see kind of a, an outline uh, square there control shift and left mouse click just once and you see that it isolated the eye basically because it's a different kind of group now to get everything else back if we hold on control shift but with this time we're not going to click on the object we're going to and drag away from it control shift left mouse click and drag outside you can kind of see the green box here you see that we get we get everything back except for the eye 
so now we're going to get the other this other eye so control shift we're going to actually click on it and you see that it disappears now we're going to control shift and click away so that we can get the two eyes and now we're going to get these two as their own polygroup the way of doing that is since these are the only two things visible right now we can come here where it says group visible visible polygons so if we do that you can see that they get the same color and if you want the color to change it's just click this one more time so now to get everything back we control shift and actually click outside don't drag just click to get absolutely everything back so we're actually going to have to do the same the same with the with all the teeth here now one thing that I just noticed is that let me turn uh, polyframe off you can kind of see that the the normals for the teeth are kind of flipped especially for the ones on top so we want to be able to see those the same way we can with these so if we come to our side here and we look for display properties we have the option here to show double sided and we, we, we click that you can see that we get we can actually see these so you can see the difference there so we can actually see those okay let me turn polyframe back on and now we want to select make all the teeth one poly group basically because we we had all the UVs for one teeth overlapping each other so so we only need to texture just one actually so we're not going to select one by one because it's going to take more time so let me do actually let me combine the legs we're probably going to combine this one with this one and actually I don't need these to be separate so I'm going to combine the whole thing so again control shift click and you get only the leg control shift click away and drag and actually drag to go back to everything else control click control click actually let me undo there control click and this one now control click and drag outside and we're going to group visible so now these are one group now control click control shift click I meant sorry if I wasn't uh, mentioning shift shift okay so control shift click on this one and outside control shift click control shift click okay oops now control shift and drag outside so we can get these and group and we can group this their own group now control shift and click you know it might be a little confusing at first but uh, you can get the hang of it so now to actually get those teeth we actually it would be easier if we uh, isolated everything else besides the teeth so we can we don't have to select one by one so control shift and click and outside actually let me undo mm, let me see let me go back step here control shift and click control shift and click now let's get closer here control shift and click control shift and click we actually got the mouth I'm actually going to make that disappear as well so control shift and click and now we only have the these visible to us so now we go to group those visible polygons and there you go so now control shift click outside to get everything back in this case it didn't so let's do it again control shift click we get everything back so that's the first thing that I like to do before going ahead and start the sculpting process so now that we have that set up, 
we can actually turn the polyframes off and you can these are still in groups so if you do the control shift and click on the legs you're still going to get those separately now obviously before we move on we probably want to save our scene here so might be a little confusing as to where to save because we have a save as here but this is actually for the tool it's going to save it as a tool not as a not not the whole not the whole project so we want to save the whole project and some of the uh, things that we've done so if you go to document you see that there's a save as there but that's actually for saving the document uh, meaning this is going to be saved as a, almost a 2D uh, image instead of a 3D model so we want to go to file and save as and the, the easy uh, obviously is control S to save and one thing that I recommend is that you save different uh, the model at different stages and you see that it's being saved as a ZBrush project not as a tool or a document it's the ZBrush project save it and you see that whenever you saved uh, especially when it's uh, at these early stages low polygon the model disappears but don't, don't get uh, scared uh, it just disappears for some no reason really if you click back and start rotating it, it's there.